Hi everyone, we're back. Um, so we're going to do activity number two. Uh, we are going to use some quite bizarre household objects today to do a little bit of a maths activity. Again, opportunities for language and fine motor skills. So we have got some sticks. Now you can use anything for these. We've, we're using cocktail sticks, so obviously have to be very careful. Uh, the plan was to use spaghetti, but uh, there was no spaghetti left for our Tesco shop this week, so we are using some cocktail sticks. And we're going to put our cocktail sticks into the banana in a line. So B's going to help me with that, being very careful because they are sharp. So whilst Bee's doing this, she's concentrating, she's using her fingers in a little grip there to push them into the banana very carefully. It looks like she's spacing them out. So we've got lots of things we can talk about whilst Bee's doing this activity. So like yesterday, we're going to tr I'm going to try <laughs> a little bit more effectively talk to you about the five hand the five finger rule. For vocabulary so if you remember yesterday we, I said if we have two nouns two adjectives and one verb for an activity we're doing then we're giving children a really good structure to build sentences so we've got cocktail sticks that could be one of our nouns or we could call them toothpicks for younger children we've obviously got banana stick, circle, cheerio. That's a fabulous I job there. How many have we got there, B? One, two, them. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> now, I've chosen to have ten for B because B's four and where she's at with her math, she's learning about um, number bonds and um, whole Shall part. Shall put these on him? Yep. So then the next stage is that children can have a go at exploring putting these Cheerios we're using. Um, you can use anything that's a loop. See, um, we did think about using onion rings, crisps, and if you use a bigger loop, obviously you can use a bigger stick, a wider stick. Um, so B's concentrating, she's using her fine motor skills. As you can see, this is kind of like a homemade abacus, so we can account numbers up the sticks for younger children just putting one on each stick is practicing one-to-one -one correspondence so before you even introduce numbers children are recognizing that one loop goes on one stick which is a really important skill so we've had our nouns cocktail stick cheerio for our adjectives, you can use things like round or circular, which is a good word, because these are circular. And B is very delicately putting those on the sticks. Can you tell me what you're doing? I'm putting ten on each stick. Mm, I wonder how many you'll have when you finish doing that job. What do you think? A hundred. <laughs> Be like their maths. Yeah, so you can we can talk about you know guessing how many numbers that we're gonna have by the end. If you're putting two on each stick, you know um 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 tens of um it there's gonna be twenty there's gonna be um um twenty hoops. Twenty hoops, sir. Well, we can count at the end and see whether we're right. So lots of Opportunities again for talking about numbers. If you had two on each stick, how many would you have at the end? Twenty. Fantastic. How did you work that out? I, I was I was going like. One two, 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 one two. Fabulous. So 
you count it in two. So let you let children. You, it's really important to let children have time to think, and it's really important to get them to think about talk talk about how they work their problems out. And obviously, this can go in lots of directions. So we're going to leave you there. Hopefully, that's given you some ideas, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Say bye, B. Bye.